Every time I'm trying to get my hair done, I'm going through some pain. Lies, lies. Oh. Man, I'm not ready. All right, we're here, guys. So we're halfway it's through. Great. No, it's, it's good. It's good. So we're halfway through the braid right now. We're going to be getting a clean part. Now, he refuses to try anything new, so this is probably gonna be the same braid that you've seen in other vlogs and other videos that he just refuses to change from. There's gonna be a day where he's gonna want something different, and we're gonna come back to this part where I had the conversation with him today to try something new. Same six, pulling from different parts of his hair. He doesn't like braids coming across the forehead because of how big it is. I don't know what his insecurities are, but I know <laughs> braids that will help insinuate, like, Compliment all of that. I've been braiding here for a long time guys. I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. So anyways um, So I'm like, what are we calling the blog? Family Matters? He's like, no, the blacks. Meet the blacks. Meet the blacks. Let him know that it's okay to be different and try something new so that we can see <laughs> That's your time no, 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 no. I, that's not my time. So encourage him to try something new with his braids so that we can do more exciting stuff. I'm the sickest braider in the CD right now, dog. Right, Bianca? Bianca's in the back. Just say right. Facts, facts, facts. Facts, 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 facts. No cap. Oh, here. I been got out a here. bad feeling about ah, ah, this. E, e, e. What you guys can protest is the crooked line in my head. <laughs> the line is not straight, right? Look. Wow. That's the first one. That is not even true. I had the ponytail over here pulling Look, and then I already centered it by coming in front of it. This is the middle of it. my nose? Yep, this go is ahead. the middle of my forehead. Wow. He's, he's... This is, it, it's not true. This is the, the part middle, is straight. This is the middle of my head. Okay, hold on. Let me see. I can feel it. My nerves are very sensitive. So why did he say so? Why'd you wait until we came on camera? This is what I'm talking about. He won't <laughs> let me be great. Because it's when I'm, where our camera is uh, when I'm seeing well, it. Well, you said you have nerves and you can <clears> feel when I part. <laughs> posture babe yeah he wasn't sitting up straight he's never okay. gonna tell the full side of the story i had to come in front of him not once twice to say sit up straight so i can part it now she, she does straight. great parting and just not today what was wrong she with has today? To do it. your posture it's crooked. can you sit up can yeah, you sit up can you can tell sit. your viewers that you have an alignment problem in your back that you've been struggling with for the last 15 years because you were a football player before and you got injured tell them the truth 12 years <laughs> Bye, baby. I'm going to work now. See you in a little bit. I'm headed off. What's up, cousin? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> right up in that. Siobhan just did my hair. You already know who I am. Oh, whatever. Cut. Where's the hair? You'll see it later. Okay. You'll see my hair later. I'm heading out. Baby's going to... Get her nails done. I'm going to clean up the condo and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Stop interrupting my. Your call has been forwarded to a voicemail service that has not been initialized. Man. So I'm uh, gonna grab us something to eat. Siobhan has requested a poutine. There's this infamous spot in Scarborough. Uh, what is it called? I don't even know. I just call it fish and chips. It's called Auntie something. Auntie Mary's fish and chips. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get us some lunch from there. They have the best fish and chips. They're the best proteins. So good. Even breakfast. When I was pregnant, I used to come here all the time. I'm such a fatty. So right now, yeah, I'm headed off to the races. Morning sprint. Um, just gonna go clean up the condo. Guess just checked out. Well, I guess it's checking in. So I gotta make sure it's all nice and speak and span and squeaky clean. You know what I mean? You know, just the usual. Sweet mop and tidy up. Hopefully the guest is not there anymore. They said they're checking out. Checking out early. So anything past this time is not early. You get me? Airbnb life, I love it. I just love it. See you around. So this is how I did my nails. A little red vibe, a little coffin. You know, I love me some coffin nails. So yeah, that's the vibe for the next week and a half. 
comment down below if you love my nails. Woo! So I'm here. This nice, nice building. Got all them steps I gotta go up. Cause I forgot my keys. So convenient. I would have been upstairs by now, but I had to go all the way around. Buzz myself in. That's what happens when you're in a rush. Who you is? July, your daughter. Oh! She's sleeping? No. You sleeping? Huh? Then I'm gonna get some friends. Adult you? Adult you? Who you is? Who you is? Who you is? Ah! You got a cut? She's I get a cut. No. I get a cut and I breed up. What's going on? Uh. July, what's going on? Nothing. Where you been? At school. Uh, in your... Yeah, in your bed. I asked in July. Ow. Ow, ow. Where you been? I ain't seen you in like three weeks. You miss you miss your sister's christening and you don't want to show up no more? Don't mind that. I'm talking to you. What's going on? I've been at home and at school. I didn't play games. Okay, I'll come here and call me. Come on. You know how to call me and you don't want to be at school. Wait. How come you ain't call me? Where you been? I've been at home. How come you ain't call? I'm going bowling, leave me alone. I just want to be not interested. I want to be like, Jesus. I don't want to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we go. Date night. We're about to go see uh, a little black line by Troy Crossfield and the gang. Crossfield Productions. Excited. Oh, yeah. We started getting ready at 6 o'clock. It is now 8. First of all, I had an outfit in mind. I asked Tyfi, like, did he said no? So what happens, ladies, when you, when your man tells you he doesn't like your outfit? What happens? Comment down below and let him know what happens. If you don't like my outfit, I'm changing it, and that takes a whole hour. So yeah, that's what happened. There she goes with her run-on sentences. Hey, fellas, if you hang up all your clothes, do your laundry every week, know where all your stuff is, how long would you say it takes you to pick out an outfit? God, you can't compare guys to girls. <clears throat> No, no, no. it's not I guys. Have a whole, I, I wasn't. Like, did I? Did I interrupt you? Okay, go ahead. You spoke, right? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Man. <laughs> I just don't. I just don't understand. Like, you have your shirts, your blouses, your skirts, your tights, your jeans, your dress pants, everything, your socks, your underwear. Color coordinate that shit if you have to, girl. Man. How big is your closet? It's pretty stuffed. How big is your closet? It's a good size. It's decent. A de I have a decent closet. Average size closet, right? Average size closet, but it's stuffed to the brim. Oh, so you and can't you see anything. you know that I don't just put, I'm not going to just put on a top and go. I want an outfit. I want a fit. I want okay, a, so a whole ensemble. So, that being said, I have to, you didn't like my idea of what I was going to wear. So okay, so I you know to, what we're going to do? What? Next time we know we're going out, like tomorrow, as soon as you wake up, you're picking out your outfit. I know what I'm wearing tomorrow. Hey, baby, I'm talking to you. Baby. I said, baby. Try, try. It looks like it might. Ow. Oh, hi. It's looking like a private affair, ain't it? Yes. What's going on now? What's going on now? 
Show them the fit. Oh, tell them where we are. Oh, yeah, we looking good tonight. Look at Michael. Okay. Okay. So no then problems. that should save us forty-five minutes from the two-hour, yep. two-hour uh, prep like time, it. right? If you don't like it, then it's gonna hold another hour. Okay. So get get two to three outfits prepared then. That's a lot. Since you think That's, I'm so picky. It's gonna take like three days. Why would that take three Does days? Does that make any sense? <laughs> any? Please tell. <laughs> Planet. That doesn't make sense. You you're can just put on a you're, sweater. You're, you're a stylist. A call. Exactly. We put effort into our outfits. Okay, That's but different. no, it should flow for you by now. No, it doesn't. It's if it's pre-planned and that's like literally i have to go and buy clothes a whole thing half my clothes are in your garage first off so right now i'm in like i'm in limbo i'm not really sure where, where things are i had to thank god i went into the garage and i knew where my jackets were so i wouldn't have had nothing to wear to wear this jacket was on the top of the pile thank you jesus or i would have been in there for hours so yeah that's just how it is until i'm completely organized and i know where my stuff is i want to say the other word my stuff is until then it's going to take a bit longer okay so basically the solution to this issue to this problem is to get organized so when are we going to get organized when it's not cold i'm not going in the garage if it's cold i went no, in the I'll, I'll, I'll send i'll give you a heater and a nice warm jacket and we'll go through it until it's all organized because no I'm not waiting till spring till it gets warm to be unorganized throughout the whole winter. That we that way. Huh? This no, we're gonna go places. <laughs> I have to spend three hours every time I want to go out somewhere. You act like you haven't been with, like this is what we do. This is what no, we no, do. no, I'm not interested. This is what we do. No, no. This is what we do. No, you get, it's gonna stop. Well, do you want me to look good or not? Do you want me to look like a, like, do you want me to look good or not? How long does it take to look good? Would you already look good? I look, what do you mean? Exactly. I need my Makes outfit. Makes no sense, I need right? my, because you guys Makes are, no sense. You know what's crazy? You know what I've, learned, I've noticed? I've learned, ladies. It's funny because we put all this effort into our hair, our nails, everything. And then I'll, I'll be like, Ty, how are you? I'll go get my nails done. I'll get my eyebrows done. He's like, oh, what's up, babe? Gives me a kiss, goes on by his day. Life. <laughs> All of this work is for nothing, guys. Yeah, we just don't worry about it. Yeah, exactly. Stop wasting your time. Whatever. And then when I'm bushy, he's like, "Oh, baby, you have to, you know, fix up for sure." So I don't know. No, you just maintain. The simple make sure stuff. you make sure you bathe. Make sure you lotion your skin. Put on the cocoa butter. Take care of yourself. Eat healthy. Nothing will pop up on your face. You don't have to put three layers of makeup. I don't have three layers on. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I don't need to put that much makeup on. I just put it so, you know, my under eye. I didn't okay, so how long, does that, how long does that take to put on your makeup? About 15 minutes, 20, no, 20 max. Not even. That's like me, like, playing around, trying to be creative, trying to watch a fucking, sorry, a tutorial, you know? But I'm very simple. I have foundation, concealer, bronzer, blush, a little bit of, of like, a metallic bronzy eyeshadow. And lip gloss or lipstick, that's it. Guys, Very the simple. moral of the story is... They don't care. I don't have time for this, man. I just want to... When we're going out, let's just go out. Okay? Okay, okay, you know what? This is what I'm going to do. You know what? I'm not even going to tell him. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to just go out. Just mark his words, okay? I'm going to do that. What are you talking about? You're just gonna I'm, go. I'm out. just gonna go out. I'm just gonna go out anyway, and you're gonna be, and then you're gonna fucking. See, like this is the, this is the, this is my issue. That's not what I said. I said take care of yourself, make sure you look good, and then you don't have to do all the extra stuff. I didn't say dress down and come out in your pajamas, did I? Misconstruing everything I said. <laughs> Tell you more about it. A1, black excellence. Okay, how do I hold my nose?